Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I've got some excellent news for Unity developers and that is you finally have a built-in networking stack to work on. Uh, Netcodes for Game Object has now been released. What's that? Oh, they just deprecated it? Okay, never mind. End of video. Okay, I kid, I kid. But that's kind of been where people in the Unity world have been living for a while. The built-in networking support has been, uh, let's call it iffy. Uh, back in 2019, they deprecated Unet. Unet was the built-in code for doing uh, not the lowest level of networking communication, but just above that. And from my understanding, UNET was crap. Getting rid of it wasn't really going to make a lot of people cry. The problem was UNET and the lower level API, LL API that was built on top of it, also the HL API, well, that left a gigantic hole in the uh, Unity kind of community for providing networking. Most people actually had to use uh, third-party solutions for their networking solution, and that was less than ideal. Now, the reason why all this was uh, kind of deprecated is because, well, DOTS was going to take over the world. And we know how well that worked out. Not that Dots is uh, not a great thing. It's just it took a lot longer to get here. And they've kind of had to kind of back up and support game objects a lot more than they probably plan to do so. So this left networking in like this horrible situation where they were basically just unsupported for a very long period of time. Well, in the meantime, there was this hackish solution. They made ML API the official uh, networking library for game objects. Also called, um, let's see, this was a hack. Uh, basically, they kind of got caught off guard. Uh, so they promoted this open source library that a lot of people used as the official solution. Now, obviously, that was a stopgap measure. Uh, nothing against ML API, by the way. It's just ultimately what people have been waiting for is this. Netcode for game objects. As of yesterday, netcode for game objects 1.0 is now available. This is a network library built on top of uh, their lower level solution. So there is still a low level networking solution in place, uh, Unity Transport. Um, that's, you know, basically providing simple socket stuff, stuff over top of the UDP networking layer. Netcodes is one level above that. Also has integration with all their other stuff out there, things like uh, Relay and Lobby. Now, the thing about game objects, so this was very much uh, for a smaller co-op style game. So this isn't what you would do your, say, 200-person Battle Royale game, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, this is uh, more straightforward and simple. Now, the other problem we have going on is if you're working on the dot side of things, well, you may notice netcode for entities, well, it wasn't quite announced. In fact, if you check it out, it is still in 0.51 preview. So on the dot side of things, well, we're still waiting for dots. That's nothing new. Uh, but if you're using game objects, if you are basically a Unity developer from like 2019 who's been waiting for a game object oriented uh, networking solution, well, that is what we've got today in Netcode for Game Objects. And to be honest, while I think DOTS is most likely the future, and there's a lot of things to be excited about DOTS, I do think the majority of the user base is still on Game Objects. So if you wanted to do networking via um, Unity using a built-in solution, Netcode for Game Objects 1.0 is now available. On top of that, they made a number of other announcements. They've got a number of other tools and services they've got. So they've got multiplayer game hosting going on. They've got Matchmaker, all this stuff from their, their online stuff. Again, we do have the announcement for Netcode for Game Objects being the big thing here and a couple of tools to go with that. Uh, so they also released the Multiplayer Tools 1.0, includes runtime network monitoring and network profiling, and the um, Unity Transport. The, mention, the part I mentioned, low-level... Um, system for, uh, again, it kind of handles UDP, socket requests, that kind of stuff. Uh, that also got a bit of an update here. Both um, the net code for game objects and for dots are built on top of uh, the Unity Transport. So, And by the way, you can work with Unity Transport yourself if you want to roll everything yourself. Plus, they launched a bunch of examples. So we've got this new Battle Royale example that shows like a large uh, number of um, network connections, 200 plus uh, connections in there in this sample. Well, I I mentioned earlier on net codes for game objects is not for large scale networking. Well, this one isn't either. This is actually built on photon fusion. We'll get back to this example in just a second, but this was launched as well. So if you want to make something beyond like a small scale co-op game, uh, this shows you how you can use photon to do so. There are other tools out there. There's mirror and a bunch of others for doing large scale networking inside of, or Nakamura as well. If you're doing networking inside of Unity and you need to have large scale connections, game objects, uh, net code for game objects is not for you. You're either going to build Build something yourself on top of Unity Transport, or you're going to use one of these third-party solutions. They also did some examples here. Uh, we've got Bathroom 3D was added. Um, we've got Galactic Kittens. Uh, and I think there was one other as well, but we basically got these new uh, examples out there for you learning your networking stack. Uh, the one here 
Uh, this is Boss Room. Uh, so this is a local co-op game. Uh, shows you how to use netcode for game objects to do your networking, uh, which is definitely, uh, it's pretty by the way, uh, but it kind of walks you through. So here you can see uh, some of the source code that are used to work with NetObjects. So if you want to get an idea of how this stuff works, they do have this updated example. And in a related slash unrelated note, there's this BR2000 uh, title here. Uh, this is this actually requires you to have a photon connection. Uh, so you need to have an API key to use their online servers to actually get it up and running. But this is a multiplayer 200 person battle royale game. Again, this is not using the new netcode code. This is instead using um, the uh, the photon libraries, but it does show you how to use uh, networking in Unity to create this large scale projects. Unfortunately, again, you do need to have this key. Uh, in order to get things going. But it, it is a comprehensive example. It shows you how to create, uh, again, a battle royale style, um, style title. So definitely some nice demo updates with this as well. Uh, so if you're interested, so there is the boss room. You can go ahead and download. That one is an existing example. It's just basically been updated for this one. Uh, we've got Galactic Kittens. This one is a brand new co-op example. Uh, we also have Invaders, the sample. It also shows you how to do the networking. It also shows it much simpler networking version. Uh, so these two examples are out there to get you started with netcode for game objects if you're interested. And then, of course, we have the BR200. This has, again, nothing to do with netcode for game objects. This uses their other services, such as the Matchmaker and also Photon. I mentioned earlier on... Okay, so... I had this slide in here. I didn't mean to. This is Unity Transport. This is, again, the low-level part that all of this stuff, and literally all of this stuff, is built on top of. And there's no reason why you can't do your game at this level as well if you want to, you know, roll all the systems yourself. You do have that option. But we also have Photon or Pun. Uh, this is the uh, the system being used in that example. This is a third-party system with also, so you're aware of it, a third-party pricing. But there is a, a free edition out there. So if you do want to go ahead and get a key, check out that example, the BR2000 example I talked about earlier on there is a free version for you and then in terms of pricing uh it comes down to the number of units, the uh, number of users you're going to be having, uh, but the pricing scales based off of the number of concurrent users you have. So as your game gets more successful, you pay more money. That is the idea behind Photon. But Photon handles those large scale networking solutions, again, like a 200 plus person battle royale. But what we are talking about today is more on the line of game objects for Unity, uh, or sorry, networking for game objects or netcode for game objects. Uh, this is the ultimate replacement for UNet from all of those years ago, back in 2019 when they cancel it. Uh, as you saw from this coverage graph, there was this large dead space where realistically there was, there was no equivalent. Uh, there was nothing there. There was no HL API equivalent in the place. And the, the new stuff was all very delayed. All of the stuff from uh, the dots based stuff, which by the way is still technically uh, in development, 0.5 release at this point in time, uh, was supposed to be here by now. Uh, unfortunately, it just never took off. But I know a lot of you have been waiting for netcode for Game Objects 1.0, so your day has finally arrived. I know the world of networking in Unity is a very confusing place, uh, especially with, again, the official product being kind of crap to start with. I, I don't, again, I don't think anyone really misses UNet, uh, but they miss just having something, uh, you know, out of the box that was the de facto supported option. And now with Netcode for Game Objects 1.0, at least for the people using Game Object stuff, you do have that solution there. And then again, behind the scenes, you also have Unity Transport, which all of the stuff is built on, which also saw a version bump. And if you're interested, again, there are all of these various different examples they brought out that, that were just launched to go along with this to show you how to use these things. And we've also got this Battle Royale example that is showing how to use uh, the Photon Fusion as well as their multiplayer online surfs and service as well as their matchmaker online service to make such a game. So a lot of developments in the networking side for Unity developers. It is actually turning into a bonafide technology stack here. Uh, their multiplayer solutions is very comprehensive. There's a bunch of stuff here for running and managing a live game. I've covered that in the past as well. Uh, but what we're focusing on today, again, is that the net code for game objects is finally here, along with those new samples. I do recommend checking those out if you are interested. But let me know what you think. Have you been long suffering with networking in Unity? And do you think that the, this is a light at the end of the tunnel? Or do you think it's going to be deprecated in three days? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.